This patient has a resting tremor, which you can see is affecting his left hand. Later in the tape, you'll see it affecting his right leg and his right hand and also his chin. It persists through most different positions of rest. This is a classical resting tremor of a patient with Parkinson's disease in the fairly early stages. His movements on the right side are quite brisk. When he tries the same on the left side, he finds it much more difficult and the hand movements slow down. This is bradykinesia. When he's walking, his left hand is not swinging, but you see it is shaking. And even though we talk of patients having a resting tremor, this does very often persist into walking. He's turning without difficulty and his walking is otherwise normal. This patient doesn't have any obvious tremor. She's sitting quite comfortably at rest. There's not really any significant postural tremor. Facial expression looks normal. Repetitive movements are satisfactory on the right. On the left side, she finds it slightly more difficult. The movements are slightly more broken up and there's a tendency to slow down. You can see that tone in the right arm is normal until such time as she begins to wave her left arm when you can see the right arm stiffening up. On the left side, on the other hand, tone is increased even with the right arm at rest. She again moves the contralateral limb and you can see a considerable increase in tone. The next patient you're about to see has some even more unusual movements. This young lady has a long history of back pain and a several year history of these apparently involuntary leg movements. This goes on all of the time for weeks on end but every now and then she has a day or two's break and as a result of these movements she has to be carried around at home by her parents. You can see that when I touch her leg the speed and the amplitude of the movements increases considerably. After a while it settles down a little bit again. And in a moment I hold her leg slightly more forcefully in order to see whether it's possible to hold it still. You'll see that the movements in the left leg change completely in character and become much slower thrusting, kicking movements in an effort to kick away from my grasp. 